Hi, my name is John Bruin. I'm one of the plant doctors here at Moana Nursery. And we're here to talk about growing citrus trees in northern Nevada. So we have a fact sheet available on our website under the High Desert Fact Sheets. It tells you basically everything you need to know. But here in this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the ways to repot them to get them to a good start when you, after your purchase. One thing about citrus, they make an excellent patio tree during the spring, summer, and fall. And during the winter, they do have to come inside for our winter season. You need a bright, sunny window. South, southern, or western facing is ideal. A can handle eastern if that's what all you have, but the more sun, the better. So now we're going to proceed with how to pot. So we need three basic components to repotting the tree. We need a good quality potting soil, such as this Eden Valley Biochar potting soil. We need a good mild starter fertilizer, which will help simulate root growth for this time of year. And then we need a good quality terracotta pot. Terracotta gives you the advantage of a breathable pot, which gives the roots air to breathe. Okay, so here we have our terracotta pot. I have a broken piece of terracotta that I salvage from my numerous broken accidents, and I place it over the drain hole. What that does is take the vertical pressure off the drain hole and allows it to freely drain. Putting down rocks and other type of implements around the bottom of the pot only causes bad drainage in later years. So here we have a citrus. It is blooming slightly. Normally I prefer to pick one that is not blooming, but I don't worry about that because it will drop those blossoms and then rebloom. These will rebloom throughout the winter season and so I'm going to take it out of the pot. Like so. Examining the roots, making sure there's no encircling roots, which will cause it to be root bound very quickly. I'll put some soil in the bottom of the pot. So when I plant it, it will be at the proper height. Lift up the container, set it in, and you see right there, it's right at the right height. And then I'll just simply add soil. And I don't worry about getting dirty on this because this is all very sterile soil. Halfway up, I'll pack it down. Then I'll add some starter fertilizer. around that area. And that's all I need on the starter fertilizer. And I'll finish adding soil. Okay, so basically we're done. Now one thing, I make sure there's no accumulated soil around the top of the root ball. And just like with any tree, I wanna make sure the roots are emerging from the base of the tree at the soil level, which is the root flare. I pack it down, and then I give it a good thorough watering to where water's draining out the bottom of the container. This is the way I want to water it every time I water it. When it's outside, I could water every day to every three days, depending on the season. When it's inside, it will be quite some distance between the times, because this plant, being a Mediterranean plant, will not like our even indoor temperatures. It's not a tropical, so it doesn't like 70 degrees all the time. It likes to cool down at night and likes to warm up during the day. That tells it what time of day, it tells it what time to do its metabolic functions. And then so when it comes inside, it slows down and we require less water. Also when it's inside, do not fertilize it at that time with any kind of fertilizer. We do recommend just prior to moving it out, you can give it fertilizer uh, to help it be ready when it does go outside. And when you do take it outside, you'll see the benefits. It will immediately start growing. You take them outside when temperatures, nighttime temperatures are above 35 degrees. You know, if it drops in temperature, like it often does here in Northern Nevada, be prepared to cover it, cover it or bring it back inside during those one or two nights. When it comes to trimming, you can trim anywhere, preferably not where there's a flower that's set. One thing, when these fruit, fruit set, 
nine months from now, you'll get fruit. Don't worry about those green lemons sitting on your tree for six months. That's what happens. Lemon trees take a long time to ripen their fruit. So typically we bring them in from the outside in sometime during the month of October. Generally, I look at forecasts and, you know, be on the safe side, 35 degrees forecasted low temperature for that night or that week is the time to bring it in. Generally, we take them out sometime in late April when temperatures are above those freezing temperatures and you get a feeling that there's no chance of freezing thereafter. Just prior to taking them outside, you can fertilize with a, uh, our GMB organic citrus fertilizer. And then after it moves outside, you will immediately give it a good watering because of the movement uh, to, to re-moisten that root ball and it will burst into growth with the fertilizer that you've already added. You can fertilize up to once a month during the time it's outside and cease and desist from fertilizing in around September 1st.